Okay, we have a single variable equation problem here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify our variables. It's only a B variable. It's on both sides of the equation. I'm going to draw a line here for you guys. This red line represents the equal sign. It has two sides to it. Now an equal sign is just that. It means both things, both expressions are equal on both sides. And if you look through your notes, the first thing we're supposed to do is simplify both sides of the equation. Simplifying simply means PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Now, if we look on both sides of this equation, there's nothing I can do inside this parentheses, nothing I can do inside the parentheses. Check. Are there any exponents? Nope. Is there any multiply? Yes, there is. Now, if you're not sure where the multiplication is, it's the distribution right here. I'm going to distribute this 2 and this 2. Now, when I distribute, I start on this side, I'll distribute 2, I'm sorry, it's a negative 2 times b, negative 2b, and negative 2 times negative 6. A negative times a negative is a positive 12. I'm going to bring this negative 6 down. Okay, I'm going to continue to simplify this equation here. This side of the equation has like terms, which is my add and subtract. Okay, that's my add and subtract. Here it is, like terms, negative 6 and positive 12. I'll combine those two together negative 6 and positive 12 is going to be just simply a positive 6. I'm going to bring this negative 2b down and there you go. This side of the equation is completely simplified. Now I'm going to work with the other side. Distribute here and distribute here which is my multiplication. Negative 2 and 5 is going to be negative 10 b and negative 2 times 1 is going to be negative 2. Now, none of these two items here can be combined. There's no adding, no subtracting, no like terms. So I'm going to bring it down negative 10 b minus 2. Now, let's double check to see if everything's simplified. Mm, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide on both sides. Check. Now, continue to look at your notes. Go back. The next step is going to be move all the variables to one side of the equal sign and move all the numbers to the opposite side, the other side. Well, let me identify my variables. Here's one. Here's the other. So I'm going to move everything to one side. Okay. This is how we're going to do it. I'm going to do the opposite operation. Now, both sides of this equation have to have the same thing going on here. So I'm going to add. 10b to this side. It's the opposite of this negative. If I do it to this side, I have to do it to this side. So I'm going to add 10b. Now, 10b and negative 10b, they are going to cancel out, cancel, and cancel. The only thing that's left over is going to be this negative 2 over here. So I'm going to bring this negative 2 down. Again, my red line represents my equal sign. That's why I did everything on the left side and the right side. I'm going to continue to add and combine positive 10b and negative 2b make positive 8b. And I'm going to bring down this 6, positive 8b plus 6. I'm going to move this 6 over so that way that all the co um, all the numbers are on one side so I'm going to do the opposite operation again. The opposite operation of positive 6 is going to be negative 6 on both sides of the equation. Remember both sides of the equation. These are going to cancel. Negative 6 and positive 6 make 0. Negative 6 and negative 2 make negative.
8 and on the other side I have 8b. Now to get rid of this 8, remember my goal is to isolate the variable. All right, Here's my variable, I need to get rid of that 8. So since it's a multiplication, I'm going to simply do the opposite. Division. Divide by 8 on this side. These 8's cancel. If I do it to one side, I got to do it to the other. The 8's are going to cancel, but a negative divided by a positive is going to be a negative number. Now the only thing that's left over on this side is what we're looking for is our variable b and the only thing left over on this side is 8 divided by 8 is going to be a 1 a negative divided by a positive is going to be a negative so that's our answer right down there b equals negative 1